Hi everyone, and welcome to week three of Principles of Microeconomics. In week three, we're going to be looking at chapter seven and eight. Chapter seven is going to be dealing with firms and production. Chapter eight is going to be dealing with cost and profits of firms. In week th three, we're going to learn about economic costs and how time plays an important role in a firm by affecting their ability to be profitable. So there's a lot of goals that firms are facing, and one of them is to be profitable. And there's two ways to be profitable. You can either be profitable through reducing your cost or increasing total revenue, two ways that companies focus. We will look at terms such as explicit costs and impl implicit costs in short run and long run. Explicit costs are costs of the production that we can calculate, like wages, electricity bill, rent payment. Implicit costs are costs of productions that we cannot calculate, which are examples of opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is what did you give up to get? So if you started a business, starting the business and what you gave up would be classified as the implicit cost. Now, in the short run, we're going to focus on one. There has to be at least one factor of production that's fixed. Outcome, output can be increased only by adding more va variable factors. So we'll learn about both fixed and variable cost. Fixed costs are going to be looking at costs that do not change when output increases. However, variable costs change when output increases. So if you look at a fast food restaurant, a fixed cost would be the rent payment or your insurance payment. Doesn't matter how much that you produce, the rent payment, the insurance payment will be the same. Variable costs are cost of production that change with the amount of output. So examples of variable costs would be labor, the cost to produce the product. Those are examples of variable cost. Now when we look at fixed costs, fixed costs are business expenses that really do not vary directly with the level of output. We'll learn more about average fixed costs and how they will decline continuously as output increases because total fixed costs are being spread over basically a higher level of production. Then we're going to learn about variable costs which are directly related to output and total cost. Now for this week, In discussion number one, let's assume that you own a fast food restaurant and you are faced with many customers each day eating in the restaurant without any tables. Describe the difference between the short run and long run in the example provided to bring in about more tables for the customers. How is the restaurant, restaurant able to differentiate between the short and long run? So if you own this restaurant, how would you face these challenges given both your fixed and variable costs that you have? Would you be able to make a difference in the short run? Would you be able to make a difference in the long run? Make sure with your initial post that you have both an in-text citation and a reference in your work. Also make sure to use specific use of economic terms in your analysis to do well. For your guided responses, Review the discussion board post to your classmates. Discuss the difference between short and long run with relation to cost and respond to at least two of your classmates. Basically, you want to discuss how short run and long run varies in a firm. And when you work on your discussion board, make sure to focus on your initial post posted by Thursday and your two peer responses posted by Monday. <laughs> Now, discussion number two is going to focus on fixed and variable cost. So you're going to first review that video on fixed, variable, and marginal cost. 
The first thing you're going to do is describe several different fixed costs and variable costs associating with owning an automobile. So when you list your examples, make sure you do one thing that's very important. You want to make sure that you relate the example and why it is a fixed cost. The next question you want to focus on is assume that you'd like to travel to Los Angeles to New York by either car or plane. Which cost would you take into account in making your decisions? Fixed variable cost or both? Make sure to explain your analysis in the decision that you have to make. Now, make sure in your initial posts that you use both in-text citations and a reference in APA formatting. And in your guided responses, you want to review the discussion board posts to your classmates, analyze the difference in your answer to your peers and the response to the different costs that are discussed, and respond to at least two classmates and basically discuss the various types of costs that they related. But make sure in your example that if you list a fixed variable or marginal cost that you're explaining why it's that and that'll be important. And the last thing you have to do for this week is you have a quiz and the quiz will be covering the chapters we covered this week. And the chapters we're covering this week are chapters 7 and 8. I look forward to your work by Monday night and just make sure to note that there's no late work that's accepted in the course and if you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be more than willing to pre-grade any of your work.